How you doing? Remember, Dr. Faber, back here from Faber College, giving you some college board tips. Today I'm going to talk to you about cause and effect relationships. Speaking of relationships, you know, you could use some. You know, do you have any dates uh, with anybody? You know, you got to get out. You're looking kind of pale, I'm telling you. My, prof my uh, graduate assistant, he needs some help, don't you think? All right, well, I said cause and effect relationship. This is maybe good for a history class. Cause and effect relationships. Look, look at our analogy for today. Rain flood. Ah, watch this. Rain flood. You see the little raindrop? Well, you put lots of raindrops. You got a flood. It was crazy, you know? All right. Rain flood. Lake pool. Mm. Wind breeze. Overeating obesity. Fire flame. Explosions and gas. Now, this is you got to think about this. You need a bridge word. You go. You think because Mr. Bones, he's going to help you. You can think about this. Okay, think one second, two seconds. Okay, Mr. Bones, can you help us here with cause and effect? Well, there it is. Simple causes, because rain causes flood. If you get enough rain, it's going to flood. I'm telling you, it's going to flood. It's going to be wet all over this place. Does lake causes pool? Hmm. Does wind causes breeze? Maybe breeze causes winds. You just have to find the right relationship here, boys and girls. Does overeating cause obesity? Does overeating cause obesity? You eat too much? Oh, maybe. Does fire cause flame? Do explosions cause gas? Gas might cause explosions, but you got to see the right relationship between the words. Correct answer. If you eat too much, you're going to become big and obese. You don't want to eat too much, do you? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. I'll see you next time.